Today, I'd like to welcome Dan Clements, who is the author of the book, A Perfect Season, a coach's journey to learning, competing, and having fun in youth baseball. Dan was an all-state baseball player in high school and was on a scholarship at a Division I university before a shoulder injury ended his baseball career. You can tell he loves coaching. He's coached youth basketball, football, soccer, and of course baseball. He's been a softball umpire for 10 years and a basketball referee for five. Dan's philosophy is that all youth sports should include three things. Kids should learn about the game, teamwork, and in the process about themselves. They should learn to be competitive, but above all else, they should have fun. Hear, hear. In his book, A Perfect Season, Dan shares a heartwarming baseball story about the joys of being a youth baseball coach. I've read it and I highly recommend it. How do you mix the drive to work hard with the philosophy to have fun? You know, I think the myth out there is that, oh gosh, we want the experience to be fun for kids so they can kind of go off and do whatever they want to do. And so, you know, you think, okay, well, a fun practice might be then, you know, you've got some kids that are over playing with the grass and the ants and, you know, digging in the dirt. And you've got other kids that are doing kind of whatever they want to do. And you've got a group that are talking about girls or cars or video games. Okay, yeah, maybe pieces of that are fun, but I think I really think that kids play the game because they want to learn the game. They want to be with their friends and, and kind of learn towards something. So I talk about meaningful fun or productive fun and, and, and try to equate the fun that we're going to have to the goals that they have as individuals and the goals that we have as a team. And, and usually, um, yeah, we can all kind of blow off steam and crack a joke and that sort of thing. But if you build your team around just doing that, then I think the kids at some point during the season are going to say, well, okay, yeah, this is kind of fun going to practice, but we don't really do anything. Right. So you lose a lot of your better players very quickly saying, hey, I want, I want to get better. I want to, I want to do, you know, teach me something, coach. So if you can have fun in that regard, um, that, it, that it's meaningful and productive, then I, I think that's the sweet spot. What, what have you done to in practice to achieve that? What are, what are some of the unique things that you've done? You know, um, making making things a competition. Kids always love that. Um, that um, whether if so, you know, baseball is my sport. So when we're warming up, if I see that they're kind of goofing around and that sort of thing, then I'll I'll jump in and and play catch with one of the kids, and we'll say, all right, it's a game now. Let's you know let's let's work on our good throwing mechanics. But uh, you get one point if you if you throw it and your partner catches it in front of his chest. That's worth one. And if he catches it in front of his face. That's worth two points. So you know, really concentrate on you know making good throws and good catches here. Um, and so very quickly things things change. You know, the dynamics of oh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna um, you know focus on uh, trying to get better here. Or I'm I'm gonna try and beat coach and. Um, another another good one is uh, when they're warming up with with baseball is um, do some quick toss after they've warmed up is get actually get out your your phone and get a timer out there and say okay let's see how many ke good catches and throws you can make in 30 seconds mm. and so they're practicing good footwork they're practicing good throwing fundamentals and the kids really then focus in it and they have a lot of fun they're joking about it and that that to me is a lot more fun than saying, you know, yelling at them, saying, "You guys aren't focused. You guys aren't doing what you need to be doing. You know, you're supposed to play catch the right way." Right. Well, and you're adding a little bit of pressure there too, in a fun way. Yeah, yeah, and you know, they'll, <laughs> you know, half of the, half of the partnerships, the the ball is thrown over the fence, or you know, they drop it, and they got to run back, and they got to you know start counting all over again. Um, they're laughing about it, but they really do take it seriously. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.